In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this maze game. You'll learn how to make a spawn point, how to use the tile map to have these walls that you can't pass through, and finally, how to have a tile that when you overlap with it, you win the game. Let's get to it. Go to Make Code Arcade, press New Project, and give it a name. I'm going to call it Maze. From there, go to Scene, and I'm going to start with the tile map. So go to Set Tile Map, and then press on the grey block. First of all, you're going to want to go to the left hand side and change it to Dungeon. You can then give it a floor by choosing something that you'd like before we put in the walls. So I'm going to choose this one with the purple spots here. I'm going to select the Bucket Tool, which is to fill, and then by clicking on my map now, I've filled the area. I'm going to scroll through to find something that looks like a wall. Then I'm going to make sure I've selected the pencil tool before drawing in something that resembles a maze shape. Now, as I'm just doing this for quickness, I'm not going to spare too much time to make this too complicated. Um, and I'm quite happy with that just for the tutorial. The next thing, however, is that you're going to want to select the wall tool. It's next to where you've selected the tile just here. And when you click on it, it'll turn red. You'll now see that when you move your mouse over the uh, tiles, it creates this red highlight. You'll need to highlight all of the blocks that you want to act as walls, so that your sprite can't pass through them. Now that's done, I'm going to select a another tile that's going to act as the spawn point. And if I go to the first tab on the dungeons, I quite like the look of this blue portal. So I'm going to put it in the corner, that's where my sprite is going to spawn. If that's where my sprite is going to spawn, I'm going to need an end point too. So I'm going to choose something that looks like a staircase going down, and I'm going to place that in the very top right for now. Hit done when you're happy with that, and then you'll see your map appears on your emulator. Can't do very much with it at the second because we need to have a character that's moving around. So let's go to sprites. Let's go to set my sprite to kind player. Click on the grey block and go to gallery or draw your own. But from gallery I'm going to choose this little guy to help us out today. And press done in the bottom right. Then you'll want to get him moving. So go to controller and get move my sprite with buttons. And then I'm going to want to put it on that starting spawn point, that portal. So under scene, if you scroll down, the easiest way I've found to do it is to get place my sprite on top of random. And therefore, since there's only one portal, if you click on the transparent tile and select your portal, you'll now see that your character now spawns on top. However, it's disappeared. That's because we need the camera to follow our sprite. So... Again, go to Scene, and under Camera, Camera Follow My Sprite, and as long as they're together, it doesn't matter which order they go in. Just as long as the things that affect the behaviour of the sprite come after we have created the sprite. So, there we go. You'll now be able to move your sprite, and you can see that you can't walk through these walls. The only other thing that we need to do now, though, is make it so that when we overlap the stairs at the end we'll win the game. So, by going to Scene, scroll down near the bottom, on Sprite of Kind Player overlaps Transparent Tile at Location, we're going to use this one, change it to the exit that you've chosen, I've done for the stairs, and therefore that's going to make you win. So under Game, get Game Over, Win. A really quick introduction to using tiles, and to start to build your own exciting maze. So now I spawn my character on the portal, I have to make my way to the exit, and when I overlap, I win. T to make this slightly more challenging, under info I could introduce a timer, so I could get start countdown, set it to a reasonable amount, and then it's a race to the end. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.